morning guys my hair's a mess i was not okay yesterday i'll be honest and i really don't like to be like negative on my channel and of course my camera's gonna die i'm getting ready for a workout but like yesterday was not my day i ended up sleeping all day like on my couch i was just like sad i got my period so i feel like that also has to do with it but i had a really bad like ibs thick flare up and i have it in a while and it just was like very discouraging and yeah it just made me like sad and i got my period so i slept away my day i was doing like all this research on ibs because i thought my SIBO medication was working i started seeing a new doctor they did all this blood work on me and like all these tests on me and they're like you're fine obviously i'm not <laughs> so we need to figure it out so i decided to take matters into my own hands and i'm going to start seeing a holistic doctor i have an appointment for next wednesday so if you guys are interested in that let me know maybe i'll like i hope like please 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 world let this be the answer i've had i've talked to a lot of people that have like done this approach or like i've heard this approach to ibs is very effective if like all the like medicines and like you know that kind of like traditional medical route isn't working for you hopefully this helps i have seen two doctors now and i've been on so many different medications nothing helps me like literally nothing this will be good for me the reviews are really good <laughs> i looked into it for so long i'm just like really over it like it affects my life so much i'm so over it and i want to figure out to solve it so that you know whatever i'm taking steps in the right direction that's all i can do um it's just really annoying sometimes but whatever i'm gonna have a better day today i'm not gonna just sleep it away i need to do stuff i'm cleaning my room right now i also somehow lost the tracking of my package that i sent out so i need to go to fedex and be like please please print me my old receipt like i don't know please i don't know what else to do so i'm gonna do that after i need to ship something out actually i need to edit i need to clean my room my room's a mess because i didn't want to deal with my responsibilities yesterday um yeah i just like it was not okay at least i did my nails yesterday one thing points for that girl we did the press on so that's all i've been doing recently because i just don't i feel like i'll probably get my gel extensions back on eventually but lately i've just been doing the press ons they're just really easy and like ten dollars whenever you go so yeah i have a berries class in like an hour or two so that will help me more mentally as well i'm fine just a little you know we have ups and downs in life I did my workout, it was so much better already. And now I'm going to jump off a package. I also went to FedEx and they actually found my receipt, so that's amazing. Here we go, Trader Joe's haul. I figured I would show you guys this way, but I got a lot of frozen things because I don't really need like normal produce right now. I was gonna make chicken tonight, love this salad. Dates for a little snack with uh, peanut butter, almond butter, so good. Coconut water. I wanted to try these egg little bites from Trader for the morning. This chicken for the salad. Always have to get the butter chicken. Love these chicken, wow, so much chicken. Chicken tenders. <laughs> um, tomatoes. This garlicky pasta looked good for like a night when I'm lazy cauliflower gnocchi I'm on my period and I've been craving something sweet and I love these so how to get that and then pomegranate seeds oh and I love these flowers I get these flowers every time even the guy in Trader Joe's was like good pick these are the best flowers my girlfriend loves them they smell amazing they just make my room smell so fresh so I love these that is the haul <laughs>
everybody. I am doing some work things right now. It's the next day. I was with... What did I do yesterday? Oh, I was just like trying to make myself feel better and I did. So that was great. I just, you know, sometimes you just need to like sit around and sleep the day away. <laughs> which I did two days ago and then the next day I just like to come back strong you know did a workout I did things to make me feel better I took like action and the things that are like bothering me which like that's all you can do sometimes so yeah I feel so much better I just came back from lunch I went to veggie grill by myself and it's beautiful outside there was like I walked to the park and there was um, a little band kind of playing so that made me happy and I'm catching up on a bunch of work and I planned out which also makes me feel really good and something to look forward to um, my whole trip that I'm going on I'm gonna be away for exactly a month and I booked all of my Airbnbs hotels so I'm really really excited about that just mentally it was not there a few days ago but we're okay now we're doing actually amazing now, but also tonight Christina's coming over, um, we're going to an event, I got invited to an event at the Equinox Hotel, which is like, woo, and I used to live like right there, so we probably will stop by and say hi to our old doorman, men, and uh, go to the event, I think, I think it's like in one of the suites, which I am really excited to see what they look like, I know they're like $800 a night or something like that, crazy, or like the beginning price is like $600 a night. I'm going to that tonight with Christina. She's gonna come over a little bit. She's been feeling a little bleh lately too. So we are here for each other <laughs> and we're getting each other out of it. So that's good. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish some brand things and like content that I wanna edit and then I'll get ready and see you guys whenever I'm getting ready. I just did my makeup. I needed to fix my hair again. I was giving me a headache so I put it in that clip and took my ponytail out. Christina's on her way, just did the normal makeup. I've been, oh my gosh, the sun is so weird right now this time of day, but I saw this girl on TikTok that had brown eyes. Do, I love browns and pinks together, you little, you know, sidetrack thing. But she was putting her blush in her eyelid crease and I use a really pink blush and I have like brown hair, brown eyes, so. I decided to start putting my blush like just like after I always do like a little light brown in my crease and then whenever I'm doing my blush I've been recently just like with the blush brush just like tapping it a little bit like kind of my crease area and I have been loving it I think it looks so cute try it out maybe if you have brown eyes okay anyways I'm getting ready I think I'm gonna wear my skims dress which I always wear but I was gonna wear it this way last time I wore it, but I decided it against it because it looked a little too like formal for me. So instead of being, you know, you typically wear it this way, whatever, I'm gonna wear it this way. And then it's just like a long black dress. And then I think I'm gonna wear, wear a different belt because I typically always do my like one brown belt that I have that's like ovals, I don't know. We're, let's just put it on so it'll be easier to explain. It's better just to show you guys than explain it, but this is how I wear the dress. So typically you wear it like this in the front, but this is a little bit more formal, I thought, for the event. And I tried to wear my other belt, but it just like, this one just looks so good. I like how low it sits on my hips. I feel like it's just more flattering. You know, at least I switched it up by wearing the dress a different way. I need to get more belts like this. I feel like I could get them thrifted, but I just haven't found a good thrifted place for them. If you guys like know an Etsy seller or anything like that, or a shop that has belts like this, let me know. I am wearing these shoes that I actually thrifted too. I got these, um, what is that called? Like Second Street Market or Second Street Vintage, something like that. Christina's almost here. I'm going to vlog. Okay, love you guys. See you there. Oh, her tail. <laughs> oh. So, um, we'll go ahead and 
gonna warm up our spines just a little bit as if you're already sitting between your bolsters. If you can place the soles of your feet onto your mat, once again, arch your back, gaze up, open the front body, and on your exhale, round it out, close it off, open your back up. Bring your hips about four to six inches away from the bolster. Bring your hands behind you, frame that bolster. And on your exhale, Round your back and just lay back onto the bolster. Do a little bit of breast work here, not hard. And first, we're going to start to inhale through your chest, open your belly onto your back. Your pelvis is supported by the bolster. If you'd like to re rearrange your bolster, just press it to your feet. Rearrange the bolster to where it's comfortable and start to feel your front body open. Your hip flexors start to open. going to be so late my friends are going to hate me i just came back from an event i have to talk about it later because i need to go right now i just got ready but my outfit is so cute so i had to show you guys okay we're going bowling and i feel like it's giving bowling <laughs> kind of and i'm wearing boots but you know like chill cool vibes <laughs> i just have on this butterfly necklace um the shirt is from thread up the brand is mark jacobs I have had these jeans forever. Um, they're really a little thing though. And then my collet spring boots, of course. And my bag. Or bag. Okay, I need to leave immediately. We're going to a place in the Lower East Side called The Gutter. I'm really, really excited. Okay, I love you. And I will vlog there. Bye. to show you guys before I end this vlog like what they gave us at the pros event that was the cutest event ever they just did such a good job we had like a yoga class before which was very like meditational medi no meditation focused they gave us yoga sets and then they gave us these um Dange Dover bags like what I actually have this color in the smaller no the medium and this is the large and I'm I love the large it's just so big I love this color. But then afterwards they had like happy hour drinks and they made it at their headquarters and they made it so cute inside. Everyone was so sweet from the PR team. The brand is very focused on sustainability. So I just had the best time. Me and Christina loved it. They gave us Uber codes. Like they did everything like 
amazingly. I thought I would show you guys what is in my bag. Also guys, okay, like, I was fighting for my life last night. I had the man that I'm seeing sleep over and I got food poisoning. I woke up at 4 a.m. and was fighting for my life in that bathroom while he was sleeping here and I was like, girl, are you for real right now? Like, what is going on in the universe? I was like, this is not real life. Like, fighting, war was going on in the bathroom. And I was like, you're lying. Like, of course, the night he sleeps over. I'm fine now. We've moved on. We're better. Better than ever. Just had to, like, like just tell you guys because I was like, of course, of course. Okay, let's see. I have my headphones in here. They wrote us little notes, which is so cute. They gave us a lot of goodies. Like, they're just so cute. Oh, I just bought this from... Sephora, oh my gosh. I really wanted to try this hand sanitizer. It's like a mist. Oh, also Athletic Greens. I feel like a lot of people like this. I should try it. I feel like a lot of people will try this. And there's another brand, Athletic Greens. Some Biotica. Let me know if you guys have ever tried those brands. And then I think these, yeah, these are their products. So there's a, oh my gosh, it says for a page. It's so cute, it's customizable. Um, hair oil. Oh my gosh, I was just going to buy a new hairbrush. Wow, mine is falling apart. And this is a hairbrush. They really are reading up my mind. This is crazy. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it has my initials on it. That is so cute. And then these are the two main products, I believe. Oh wait, there's three. Um, they used this on Christina whenever they were touching up her hair. This is really cool. It's a dry shampoo, but it like squirts into your, like it's a powder squirt. And then we have a leave-in conditioner, volume enhancing, uh, heat defense. So I'm excited to try. And then this is a styling gel. Um, I've been, that's what I've been doing mostly in my hair after the shower. I just like kind of scrunch my hair with a gel to like enhance my waves. So I'm excited to try these products. That was such a cute event. I'm going to start a new vlog though. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I love you guys all so much and I'll see you. And I don't, yeah, there's nothing else to say. Okay, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.